Well, good morning. So, we got the new woo, the loaner tractor. Uh, as you can see, I got everything in here, but I just don't have to move the truck forward, too. Oh, well. Um, anyway, I'm going to move some stuff around because we're supposed to get six inches of snow, and this tractor does not have a cab on it, and I feel that, well, my dad's not obviously going to move this crap around because he's not Hulk, um, and it is not fun. I mean, I couldn't blame him. So, I mean, that was with... What we did was I put the snowblower in the jet sled and we had the quick hitch in the back of the truck because me and my brother were, we could not lift that in the truck. So, here is the X728. And I'm covering up the microphone. God darn it. I gotta stop doing that. Because I don't think this should be left out in the snow. You know, that's just me caring for machines. Uh, differential lock. Although I thought, I'm like, well, wait a minute, this is only two wheel drive. Well, then I realized it's the Ultimate Series. Uh, so, then it's got wheel weights, everything. Um, same exact setup as the John Deere, but it does not have the four wheel drive letter, le lever because I believe it's all wheel drive. Sweet. And my dad said he absolutely loved it. It's pretty worn in there, but as you can see, it's not that bad. It's still pretty tight. You guys didn't see that, all right? Um, that's kind of interesting how they have that routed through the quick hitch. I didn't see that, but same controls and everything on this thing. Um, yeah, see, that's pretty much the same thing. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this in the garage. It probably doesn't need to go in the garage, but I'm going to put it in the garage because it doesn't have a, any weather protection. I'd rather be in the garage. And I'm covering up the mic again. i got to stop doing that with this thing. So, without further ado, I'm going to hop on this thing and see how it starts up. Um, my dad said this thing has got more nuts than he could actually think of. And i and come to find out this is, I think, 27 horsepower. Um... It's going to be really different, because <laughs> I never used an open station tractor in I don't know how many years. Let me see here. Oh, a little stiff. Give it a half throttle or so. That should work. So, insert the said key. Oh, she's really definitely not happy. Yeah, she's she's really not happy. We don't have any gas in it either. I think this is EFI too, maybe, maybe not. So, that's kind of helpful. Um, it still starts like a turd though. I don't know why they do that. I know he's probably not gonna be happy by being putting gas in here, but. Oh well, I mean, we'll just leave it out. And then, but then, you know, I really don't want him, I'll put, probably put a little gas in it because I do want to play around with it today. So, and I can't really play around with it if it doesn't have gas in it. So give me one second. And plus I also don't want to idle this with no gas. Okay, I'll try that again. I'm going to leave it at half throttle. Because this thing is a dink. Oh, but that's a little better.
let this warm up a little bit. Let's see, 829 hours. Cool. We got the garage all cleaned up and uh, yeah. All right, there we go. Got everything moved over and now it should fit right in here. He's probably not going to want it in the garage because we're going to get it back tomorrow, but we're supposed to get under six inches of snow and I'd rather th th uh, be this, and you'd rather move this crap around in here. Uh, so, just so it's easier on him and just not to brush it off and he just can go out and go because I had everything kind of in here all last night. So. Warms up pretty fast though. Just for all you uh, tracker Nazis, like I don't warm shit up. Um, I think Mr. John Deere 3720 has the X724. Oh, this is the X728. Um, so it's a little bit bigger. Maybe not bigger. Maybe it's just got four wheel drive and not all wheel steer. Yeah, it's this 4x4. Huh. Oh, well, maybe it's automatic. I don't know. So, yeah. See how this I don't know why it does that, but just give it full juice. This is different. This is really different. I think a little joyride, maybe. Ride's nice. Got a lot of nuts, too. I'm noticing but maybe because we don't we, we uh, don't have the cab on it. Got this all plowed out. It definitely feels weird not being in a cab. said this one throws it about 12 feet too so that's pretty cool I probably wasn't supposed to fill it up the old the hallway but it was on empty this, this got a lot of nuts pretty far we just want to play on the tracker <laughs>
It's a lot different. I mean, even though it's got, oh, hey, it's got 830 hours now. <laughs> um, he probably used it yesterday and had maybe had half a tank or so, but we're supposed to get snow. I know we really can't lift gas cans very well. I mean, if I got to buy the gas because I put it in here, I mean, I will, but so cool. Cool. Um, I don't know what I'm, I think I'm going to snow blow later. I'm going to do a little more snow blowing down the driveway to blow the banks back and try to get that huge snow mound out. I know he said it was ice, but I think we just went through ice. <laughs> um, let me flip this back around. So the next part of this video, you will see most likely be me snow blowing. Um, overall, it, you saw, I mean, it was blowing more than 12, you know, a foot. <laughs> That was a pretty good distance, and again, it wasn't fully in there, so. So, yeah. Sweet. Yeah, the differential lock and everything. Of course, he probably doesn't want it in the garage, but... And there's the snowplow again. Ooh. Nah, I'll leave that. He can get it. He's got the escape. Um, that's another thing, too, guys, with the Silverado. I got a battery light flashing. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one and time to switch batteries because I've got two of them.